But the new guy in the traction line is the Nano Traction. This is an unbelievably small progress capture pulley and it complements the rest of the traction line. You probably know about the Micro Traction already and their biggest brother is the Pro Traction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about why the Nano Traction is so great and why you might choose between the Nano and the Micro Traction and just some various little petzel things that we've thrown in here. Um, a progress capture pulley is helping you haul or helping you ascend. It's got this progress capture cam right here that'll grab under a rope. And then it's got this really high efficiency pulley with sealed ball bearings. So what does this mean in practice? It means that if you're hauling something, as you haul it up, it gives really great efficiency for the haul and then it stops it from going back down. The other thing it means is if you're ascending a rope, um, which you wouldn't do on this rope that I've got here, but let's say you're ascending this, you're just gonna clip your guy right on there. And then as you go up, it sm smoothly flows. And as you were going to go down, if you were to fall um, or if you're resting on the rope, that's when it's gonna catch. So that's what a progress capture pulley does in general. It hauls, it does progress capture um, on your ascension up a rope. So now let's talk about the nano traction and the micro traction in particular. The micro traction has a, uh, a great reputation in mountaineering. It has a lot of different uses. The micro traction has a 91% efficient shiv here with sealed ball bearings. What that means is that 91% of the force that you apply to a rope will transfer around the pulley to the other side of the rope. You can imagine this is much better than a carabiner that doesn't spin at all. And when you've got this really high efficiency, it doesn't decrease the amount of force you're putting on the rope by a significant amount. And the sealed ball bearings are really great too because they allow this to get wet without getting a rusty and slow pulley. We took all of that cool stuff and we put it on the Nano Traction. So the Nano Traction, as you can see, comes in at a considerably smaller size than the Micro. I noted when I got it that it is about the size of my car key fob, which is absolutely insane. The Nano Traction comes in at 53 grams. The Micro Traction is at 85 grams. So there's a considerable weight savings. The cam on the Nano Traction is the exact same one as on the Micro Traction. The other thing we've got, this 91% efficient shiv, again, sealed ball bearings. You have a little bit of a smaller rope radius here. And so with bigger ropes, you might get a little bit lower than that theoretical efficiency but the Nano Traction is designed for small ropes and just kind of your super light hauling. In particular, it works with our Pure Line, which you see here, which is a five mil Dyneema cord. It also is certified to work with our Rad Line, which is in that six mil range. Works great, pinches great. You do want to make sure that you've got the right size rope for it. You don't necessarily want to assume that because it works with our Pure Line in five mil, that it's gonna work with somebody else's five mil line. You wanna follow the instructions there, but there are some special use cases. So the thing that we did with this cam, we removed the lockout feature that's on the micro traction. You'll notice on the micro traction, if I push this little button and I get the cam up there, I turned it into just a regular old pulley. So this cam isn't in the way, it won't engage and the pulley can spin freely. On the nano traction, there's no lockout. So there's no way that this cam will ever not engage. If you're doing various things with this that are um, life safety, you might get a little spooked if the cam could accidentally lock open. It's very rare, but you do need to mind it on the micro traction. No worries about that on the nano. So why would I use the micro? Why would I use the nano? In certain cases, why am I gonna use this pro traction? The nano, of course, with that same efficiency and the sealed ball bearings, if all you're doing is incidental hauling or incidental ascension, this is gonna have very comparable performance to the micro traction at a lower weight penalty, and you're probably not gonna to worry too much about that cam lockout if you're just using it for one thing here and there. As you get up into certain things like crevasse rescue or anytime you need to lower the load that you've got, that cam lockout starts to look really attractive. So this might be something that you use on a big wall uh, if you need to lower your load here and there. If you really wanna use it as a pulley, for example, if you need to use it in your two to one system here when you're hauling and you're gonna use a micro traction here, you'll need to lock that cam out. So again, that becomes a little more attractive. And finally, they are both rated for uh, up to 11 millimeter ropes we'll find that because the sidewalls on the nano traction are closer together than they are on the micro traction, as you get up towards that 10 mil, 11 mil rope range, the micro traction is gonna be the right choice because it has enough room for that rope to pass without extra friction. Again, when you think about these efficiencies, you need to think about theoretical efficiency. As soon as you have a rope that's dynamic or you have friction on the side plates, that, that theoretical efficiency is gonna drop off precipitously. 
So smaller ropes, just in case, no cam lockout. Uh, maybe bigger ropes, you've got a plan for it, you're gonna use it just as a pulley, uh, you also want that cam lockout. The final little difference we've got here is the micro traction had a little keeper cord slot that you had to navigate a little 90 degree bend. So on the Nano, we have a slightly better slot. We've got a little bar here and you pass your cord just up and under that bar. It's not quite as difficult to get. Why would I go up to the ProTraction? This thing is in that 149.95 range, whereas the Micro is 129.95, Nano's 99.95. So this is more expensive. It has a much more efficient ship. 95% compared to 91%. Once you're pushing into those high 90s, this is starting to be as efficient as you can get with a pulley. There are a couple other things with the ProTraction. It opens when it's loaded, so you can open this side plate when it's loaded. Again, this is a great feature if you're on a big wall, uh, if you're on rescue, anything like that. Uh, you will want to be able to unload it without uh, detaching it from the anchor. You retain the MicroTraction's nice cam lockout feature, although it's a little bit more of an aggressive mechanism there for the cam lockout. And then finally, you get this bottom hole, which uh, if you're already a big wall hauler or you're already a rescue guy, you know that this can help you get a mechanical advantage. If you have a pulley down on your load, there's a lot of cool rope tricks you can do with this. So protraction, heavy, tons of efficiency, tons of little features that help for really serious hauling, really serious progress capture. For the sport climber, for the alpinist, the micro traction is probably the right choice. Considerably smaller than the pro. And then our nano traction just takes all of those tiny things that are beneficial on the micro traction. We shrink it down a lot more. Really great just in case piece. So uh, if you're on a big wall, uh, I've set up a big wall hauling kind of setup behind me. Just a simple two to one, just to show you how nice and efficient and smooth it is. I've got a really efficient pulley here, lightweight T-block just an SMD non-locker carabiner there. And we've got a nano traction on a nice carabiner up here and just a haul back full of some junk. You can see that it just takes a really small amount of effort, me pulling up, to pull that up. And that is thanks to efficiency in the pulleys, hyperstatic haul line, really good graceful progress capture. And as you can see, when I'm pulling this up here, we really don't get any falling as we let go because that nano traction cinches down immediately. And that's the nano traction, really psyched for it.